This video was sponsored by One Nest Studios. Elevate your sound. If you're looking for a studio that is reasonably priced to record your music, podcasts, etc., then you cannot go wrong with One Nest Studios. Contact the number down below or the email address or visit their website for more details. Thank you. Hi, this is my video on the PGY Tech Extension Pole Tripod Mini. Now, for action cameras and for your mirrorless cameras and point and shoot, etc. Now, this is PGY's um, version of this particular item here, which is the GoPro Shorty. So I'm gonna do a slight comparison between the two of them in this video. It's up on Amazon for $29.90 on Amazon at the time and there was no deals on this. So I'll quickly go around the box. As you can see, you can see the actual shorty, PGY Tech shorty in there. I'll call it that from now on. You can see it in there and on that side just basically has a little QR code. So if you click on that, you go to their site and see all the other stuff. Just shows you a little picture of a action camera on the top as it's fitted, how it looks, that it's bag friendly, that small, it can go and fit into bag pockets and stuff like that. Showing it as there, the usage of it with the camera on there and fully extended, but I'll show you that later. And on the side here, it just shows you what you get in the box. You get the actual um, shorty itself, the uh, universal interface um, tripod mount here, which is, has a quarter inch um, thread on there to fit most action cameras, such as your Yi cam, your SJ cam, etc. So you get that in there. And you get PGY's unique pins I'll start from this side and then work around and come back to the unit. We get this like small card which is just basically showing you how to assemble the pins to the actual shorty there and how to assemble the tripod mount or quarter inch thread mount to the actual unit here. Next we have these washers. Now these washers get fitted onto here um, to provide extra grip when you put these pins in if they work loose. So the, you get a pack of four of these washers in there and just a little demonstration on there where to place them and it's to place them on here as well um, just to tighten the grip in within there. So you get these washers. You get the kind of a quarter inch thread mounting sys mount to fit into here like so and the pin goes in there and this is for your either your mirrorless cameras or compact cameras or action cameras that have a quarter inch thread on there or even your 360 cameras if you want to put on there which have a quarter inch thread mounting system on it so that fits into there this is made out of plastic uh, with a bit of rubber on the bottom here on the platform. And now we have the pins which PGY Tech uses. As I said, they don't use a traditional GoPro thumb screw, they use these kind of pins with these little levers on the ends. And if you look at the pins, and I'll try and get it into focus if I can. Right, if you look at these pins, <laughs> it's difficult to get it into focus. But these pins are cylindrical all the way at the top with a kind of T shape at the top. And the reason for that is that when you place it into the hole here, you turn to when you find a lock, that's it, where they go into. Then you turn, so that's in place, and just push down and that system there will lock whatever's connected to there, which is either this mount or your GoPro on there.
here is I'm going to mount this GoPro Max onto this um, the PGY Tech um, shorty as I'm calling it um, you simply as I said to release this now what you do is flip the lever up turn and it will come to a stop point and then just pull the pin out we get the GoPro Max we slide it on and now we get the pin now it doesn't matter which way you put the pin in it doesn't really matter because you're looking for that locking end on the or that groove where this fits in so all you do is simply push that in keep turning now it's reached to that point now it's reached to the end here and then we turn make sure that your camera is straight we turn that lock that reaches to that point that you can no longer turn that way and then simply push down and now the GoPro the Max is now locked on there and it is cannot move the comparison the shorty here has the Insta uh, 360 1R on it and the PGY text version of the shorty has the GoPro Max on there now just by looking here you can obviously see that the PGY Tech is a lot longer uh, than the GoPro Shorty. Now it is longer by at least two inches longer than the Shorty. In the hand, as closed up, they do feel exactly um, the same as in the circumference of the actual unit themselves in the hands but this to the shorty has a more better grip because it has this kind of texture finish on there and we have this kind of metal kind of uh, unit at the top which holds three legs um, like the shorty while the shorty it is all plastic including this part up here there's no metal the only metal is the stud on the back and the actual screw that you pop place in and the pins that hold the legs together are the only things that are metal so that's a big difference as you can see um, you can see that when the legs are splayed out its footprint on the PGY Tech is a lot bigger than the Shorty the Shorty has a narrow footprint while the PGY Tech has a much greater footprint on the ground than the Shorty legs they have a rubber end on the bottom of these legs which have a clip um, on either side not a magnetic clip no it's not magnetic it's just a, a simple bump there which fits into these grooves here and the ends of the legs of the PGY Tech are in rubber while the shorty while with the shorty it's all plastic there is no rubber on the ends of these legs whatsoever the legs do feel thick and made of quality plastic with this kind of as I said rubber texture finish on there and they snap together just like the shorty and hold their form together to make the handle which is just as good as the GoPro shorty go on about the PGY text version of the shorty the reason why I'm wearing glasses is because in my right eye I have a very severe eye infection which is really sensitive to light makes my eye very sensitive to light it's a periodic thing that comes around um, once a year it affects one eye then it moves across to this eye and literally driving or being outside um, really pains me and gives me a headache so that's why I got these on now anyway to proceed on to the PGY Tech Shorty the overall length of this um, their version of the Shorty is 16 inches now I don't go by that length I go by the actual extended length because you lose obviously some inches off when you hold it and some inches off the mount so between the ends here it is 11 inches that it extends out to with the PGY text version of the shorty and as you can see it is all a matte black finish 
And one thing which they have done, which I really like, is, and I'll bring this in closer, is that between, it, come, it folds out, as well, it comes out into four sections, but each section has a plastic collar on each section, and they have colored the collar the same as the stem, which is brilliant. I like that, gives it a kind of stealth look and premium look as well. Um, it has a very stiff uh, motion when you pull it out and you don't need to twist it neither. There is a seam on what PGI, have, there are seams running down it, but what PGI Tech has done is put a seam on one side and then a seam on the other side. So it's not a front seam and a back, it's one seam on one side, one seam on the other, which is really good and gives it strength. I can shake this and there's no wobble to this. As you can see that the PGY Tech when fully extended out on the ground along with the shorty, it is towers over it, just simply towers over the shorty um, when fully extended. And as you can see at the base, again, I'll say this again, at the base, the PGY Tech version has a much wider spread base than the actual shorty does. The shorty has a more narrower base than the PGY Tech. So for stability, you seem to get more stability, even though it's taller with the PGY Tech than the shorty when the legs are open. The shorty here has an overall length of roughly eight inches. And as I said again, at the top of the um, handle to the bottom of the mount, it's four and a half inches. And just in the hand alone, not being um, placed on the ground, you can see the difference. And I've got my hands level. Best to turn to the side here. And you can see the difference just in the length of the shorty compared to the um, PGY text version. So it all depends what you are looking for. Now, these are excellent um, tripod selfies, uh, selfie sticks for vlogging. So if you want something for vlogging and you don't want such a, sh um, a long, obviously action pole type to vlog, then these are absolutely brilliant. And as I said, in the hand, to me, the PGY Tech feels more premium in the hand than the shorty does. The shorty does have this kind of cheap feeling against the PGY Tech um, version. It just, the, it just feels a bit cheap. Now, considering the price that you pay for this is round about, I think in England is round about 22 pounds. It could be less now, but at the time I paid roughly about 22 pounds for this. Um, the, what you get for the extra, I, Six quid, I think. My maths is crap. For the extra six quid with the PGY Tech, to me, is worth the money. I know it's £29.90, almost £30, but you do feel that difference um, when you do get it. So you do feel that difference. And plus, you get this unique locking mechanism at the top here, rather than with this kind of simple screw what you get there with the shorty you at least get this nice decent locking mechanism as i like what i showed you before there is one little negative um well there's there's one little negative thing i can see with the pgy tech over the shorty is and that's when you bring the uh, stems down we track the stems sorry and you it's open the legs out now, with the shorty, this will still stand on a surface even when the uh, stem is brought down, uh, retracted down, it will still stand. Um, that's no problem with the shorty. Now, with the PGY Tech, when you bring down the stem and you open the legs out, you're going to have to be careful because the central stem here is quite long so it, the ground will hit this first so you have to be aware of that so the ground will hit this first so you're going to have to do like with most of these kind of tripod um, selfie sticks like you're going to have to bring up the main 
bottom part of the stem just a little bit up like so and then let me just put this down and then spray the, spray the legs out or open out the legs and then this will not touch the ground the legs will touch the ground first so you just have to be aware of that. This is my two pence worth on the PGY Tech version of the shorty. And I'll start off with the negatives first. And the first negative has to be when the stem is down like this and you have your camera or phone or whatever you place on here, not necessary on this particular mount, but on the GoPro mount itself on here. When you open the legs out, as I said already, this will touch the ground first before the legs. Even if you try and get it into its most narrowest position, which I personally wouldn't recommend that at all, I'll just go have the legs fully extended out. Um, this will hit the ground, the main stem. So you have to literally, as I said, bring up the stem, the main stem a bit, even half an inch, so it doesn't touch the ground. So that's a negative about that. The other negative, which could be a negative and a positive, so it works either way, has to be the pins here. Now, I roughly do not, I do not know how much PGY Tech sells these for. So if you lose them, you do get two, but if you lose them, you're gonna have to buy them from PGY Tech themselves. You probably can get them on eBay, but it'd be through PGY Tech. I don't think any other manufacturer makes these, a lot of them tend to make the um, GoPro um, thumb screws instead. Last, and one last negative about this, because there wasn't much negatives about this, it is a good quality product. Um, it could be the price, I'd say it's the price. Um, it is 30 pounds for something like this, don't get me wrong, it is well built, but for something so small, I know that the GoPro charge a lot for the shorty, but this could have slightly undercut the shorty and, and sold this for, for 20 quid. I think 30 is a little bit too high for this, especially when it uses these pr proprietary uh, kind of um, pins instead of the usual uh, GoPro thumb screws or thumb screws. So, um, so that, you have to add that into the cost as well. If you lose one of these, it'd be more expensive. So I'd say the cost is probably the last negative. And now for the positives on this. The positives are, I love the grip of this. It has the same circumference bottom here as the shorty, the same, and it feels good in the hand because it has this nice rubber textured grip around the actual handle of these legs. So that's brilliant, I like that. I like the metal bit up here. Well, if it is plastic, it feels like metal. So this is metal to me. <laughs> So I like this uh, metal bit and the color of it. it. It does give it a more premium look than the shorty does. So I like that. The pin system, I, I personally tend to like the pin system than the shorty, uh, than the standard GoPro thumb screw. Cause even with gloves on, you can lock this thing in there, no problem. No problem, even with gloves, even with wet hands, no problem with the shorty especially if you're using a 360 camera like the Max, or you're gonna use the um, Insta 361R, because they have the proprietary GoPro mounts on there, you have to get that camera so dead straight, and using tightening up, you, it's a bit of a nuisance when it comes to that. So at least this is quite quick. Uh, so that's one thing I like. I like what they give you this extra bit here than rather with the shorty, you do not get that at all. So you get this extra kind of um, quarter inch thread mount on there, which is brilliant, I like that. And they throw in an extra one of these um, pins. Now with the shorty, with the shorty here, they don't even throw in an extra one of these, which would have been good, because that's the only metal bit on there, right? Apart from the pins that put, hold the legs together. They could have thrown in an extra um, screw in there. They really could have, but they choose not to. But at least with PGY Tech, sorry about that, it just lost a bit of, the light has changed in here. With the PGY Tech, 
um, at least they throw you an extra pins in there. So as I says, that's a good positive. Another positive is it extends further out than the shorty. So even if you want that kind of length that the shorty has, you can put it to that. And if you want it a, a much greater length, you got it there and then. So, which is really, really good. And I like the stiffness of the actual stem and the stem does feel really strong. If you got the PGY Tech version of the shorty, please let us know in the comment what you think about it because your opinions are different to my opinions. So please leave that down in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail. And to, to save you the unexpected, I really find it hard to put this bit, the unexpected part of when you get that item, at least you can say, oh yeah, that guy on the YouTube, he was right, this was, wrong. this was about it, and that was about it, he was right about that. So, at least to save you that kind of trouble. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.